Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some empties to share with all of you guys. And if my lighting is off, I kind of like moved my desk that I film on off to the side. So I don't know, I may crack that later on in the video. Um, I may not. But anyway, let's just jump into the empties. These are like household empties, beauty empties, food, some foodie empties kind of all rolled into one. So let's get started. Um, I did finish a Dunkin Donuts. I'm going to put this over here because of the light. It's really bad. Um, this is the caramel flavored, extra creamy, extra flavor coffee creamer. And I usually use just a tablespoon of this at a time. And I have a new love for Dunkin Donuts coffee creamer. This is basically what I'm going to be buying from now on. It just, it's, a, it is a lot creamier. I really like it. The only problem is, is that I don't like that they don't offer it in more flavors. I think I have seen the caramel, hazelnut, extra creamy, creamy, something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this was a big one. I actually took a chance on this because this is the 32 ounces, but I liked it and my daughter liked it as well. And then I also finished a coffee, which reminds me I have to go and buy more coffee. This is just the bagged loose coffee from Archer Farms. You can buy Archer Farms at Target. And this one is the buttery caramel, one of my favorite coffee flavors. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so good. So caramely. Um, this one, I believe... Let me see. I don't know if they have like a light, medium, or dark roast, but this one was very medium. It wasn't light at all. I really, oh, it does. It says light roast, but to me, it was medium. I really liked it a lot. Really, but like it says, buttery caramel. I really like Archer Farms coffee. So if you can't, you know, buy Starbucks coffee or if you can't buy Door County coffee, definitely try out Target if you shop there a lot. Um, I'm sure you guys will like that. I also have an empty of some sunflower nuts. These are roasted and salted sunflower nuts that I bought at Big Lots. Big Lot has a lot of these bags by the company called Good Sense that are really super inexpensive. This one was $1.50 and it's got added vitamin E and folic acid. I just really like these because of the fact that these are like healthy snacks to chew on, something just to like quick grab and go. So foodie items are done. I didn't have really that many that I kept, um, you know, this this time around. And I really don't have that many items um, of empties to go through right now. But let's go to beauty. Um, here I have an Aveda Mineral Tinted Moisturizer. This is a broad broad spectrum SPF 15. And basically what this is, is a BB cream. I know it's kind of dark and gross and whatever. This is in the color Aspen. It is 01 Aspen. And I have been using this on my skin pretty much every single day for the summertime. I really like it a lot. It is, it's not really full coverage, but then again, it is like for me, I have breakouts um, in a few places of my skin that you guys can see here um, and also redness. Now, granted, this is the end of the day, but um, it kind of gives you that dewy look and it still is a pretty good coverage. So I will definitely be picking that up again. Um, I have some empty toothpaste here. This is the Enamel Health by Colgate and the Replenish and Polish Whitening Formula in Mint loved this. I bought this at Hallmark. It was on clearance and I got like a whole bunch of them. So definitely will be reusing that again. One toothpaste that I did not like that I did not finish was this guy here. This is the Colgate Optic White Platinum Express. It's supposed to have whiter teeth in three days or less in the fresh mint. I hated this. This left a film in my mouth like you guys would not believe. It made me feel like it didn't give me fresh breath at all, and I just didn't like it, so I didn't use it all. I still have well over three-fourths of the tube left, and I am not going to be using that anymore. I also finished a Solid Secret deodorant in the scent Powder Fresh. Um, I like these. I picked them up at the Dollar Tree. Smell, it still smells delicious. It's still really good. Um, this is the 1.7 ounces. And yeah, I love Secret. It's a product um, and brand that I trust. 
I also have an empty toilet bowl cleaner. This is something that I buy at the Dollar Tree. It's the Lysol Clean and Fresh Toilet Bowl Cleaner um, in Country Scent. I really like the scent. It has bleach in it. It cleans the bowl when there are stains and it just makes like your bathroom smell really fresh and clean. Okay, shower wise, let me take a sip of my water. I finished the Bathing Garden Sugar Scrub in Pomegranate, Lime, and Sweet Tart. This was amazing. It, oh, I can still smell it. It is a beautiful summer scent. If you guys love sugar scrubs, definitely check out the Bathing Garden. She also sells wax, if some of you guys don't know that, and she is fabulous. And I have a whole bunch of these, but pretty soon, you guys, I'm going to have to um, order again. I also finished the Tea Tree Special Conditioner. Um, I bought this in a duo. You got a leave-in conditioner, the regular conditioner, and then shampoo. This just leaves your hair, your scalp, really tangly and fresh and clean. I use this maybe once a week. I wash my hair every other day, no more, no less. And um, it is by Paul Mitchell. If you guys want a very nice, clean scalp, if you are having problems with your scalp, sometimes I get an itchy scalp. Um, sometimes with dyeing my hair on a frequent basis, I will get a few dry patches that could possibly turn into a sore. Um, and this really does the trick. It really works. And I love the way it smells too. Okay, speaking of hair, let's move on. I did finish a Pantene Pro-V. This is for fine hair solutions, dry to moisturize conditioner. I think I got this a long time ago and I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't have fine hair. I think I had a coupon for this and I got it for like super cheap, which is why I use that. And then I also have some head and shoulders here that I finished. One was a shampoo in Classic Clean, and the other one is a shampoo in Dry Scalp Hair, um, or Dry Scalp Care, sorry. And this one has almond oil in it. I really like this one. This is just like their basic. Like whenever, like I said, I get dry scalp. Sometimes, you know, people would think that you get dry, itchy scalp in the winter time. I always get it in the summer. So I use these two puppies up and they are done. Um, shower gels. Um, one of the shower gels that I finished up here, I don't know if you guys are going to remember this or not. This is uh, Bath and Body Works True Blue Spa Line. This was in Pineapple Papaya. I have a whole bunch more. It's a shower gel, and this is the Nourishing Yogurt Shower Smoothie. 10 ounces. It sold for $15, but they had a major, you know, sale going on, you know, couponing it up, and, you know, you get it for, like, what, six bucks, if that. Um, this one, I did not like it all. I did not appreciate the scent. The pineapple scent was more of a synthetic -y pineapple. Um, when I got this, though, it smelled really good. So I'm wondering if it was shelf life, possibly. But yeah, won't be repurchasing that because they don't offer it again. Um, some more shower gel. This is really what I have been using. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn. Um, this one is in the scent Spring Rain. This one just smelled basically like a huge bouquet of flowers. Like think of just going to the store and picking out like every single flower you possibly could get your hands on. And that is exactly what this smelled like. It was so good. Um, and I finished that. These are the 16.9 ounces. And usually if you don't have a Crabtree and Evelyn, near you. You can call um, any Crabtree and Evelyn outlet store and usually they have a sale buy to get two free. So um, it brings the price way down. And then I also finished one called Summer Hill. This was a really good one. It had kind of a spicy kick to it, um, but it was still really, really nice. Oh, smells so good. They retail for $28. So you figure um, you get 16.9 ounces for for $14 pretty much. Um, I'm just trying to see if it gives a scent description on here. No, it doesn't. It probably does online, but this one was super, super nice. Uh, room spray. I have a room spray here. This, I believe, I don't even know. I, I don't even know where this is from, but this was Orange Spice. I found it. I used it up. It's gone now. 
that might have been Big Lots like a long time ago. Now let's get into hand wash. I finished Frosted Plum Berry. I take these puppies to work with me. These are the foaming hand washes antibacterial by Bath and Body Works. And the girls at work just love it. And we are literally washing our hands like 10 times a day, if not more. And sometimes you need a good hand wash instead of the hand sanitizer. I like washing my hands rather than using the hand sanitizer because the hand sanitizer really dries out my skin. So this was Frosted Plumberry. I love the scent and I love the look of it. I just thought that it was really pretty. Also in my kitchen, I finished a vanilla snowflake. Yes, I chose vanilla snowflake. I just wanted something like really basic, not like a foo-foo scent in my bathroom or in my uh, kitchen area, just something straight up vanilla and that's basically what that was and then I also finished up orange creamsicle swirl I took this to work with me and all the girls loved it it's a bright you know orange color and it smelled really good just basically like orange creamsicles it was really nice um perfume I found this perfume I finished it it's by Hollister if anybody knows the scent of this perfume I don't have the cap but um I had been using it literally every single day until it was gone let me see if I can read it here Nope, can't read it. I don't know what it is, you guys, but it does say Hollister here. If any of you Hollister ladies know, leave a comment down below. And then I also finished a Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber, if you guys remember these, from Bath & Body Works. They are, like, legit old, but I had, like, 50 of them. Literally, there's, like, a little bit left. I had 50 of them, I think. Just, like, the company would send me these all the time to try and they were literally all the same scent, but the company just kept on sending me and sending me things. And um, this was one of them, so I finished that. I also finished, this is an incense stick, um, a package, I believe, of 10 of them um, from Wildberry Incense, and this is in the scent Fizzy Pop. My favorite incense smell of all time is Fizzy Pop. I could buy this in bulk for sure. It just relaxes me. It literally smells to me like incense meets 7-Up Sprite. Kind of that, you know, note the lemon, the lime, the fizziness of the carbonation of the soda. It's just really, really good. And then cleaning products, I don't really have a lot of those. I do have dishwasher cleaning tabs. I got this Ajax all-in-one. I really didn't like these. I finished them up just because I usually use um, Cascade, but these were on sale and I thought, why not go a little cheaper? We'll see. But I didn't really like the way they smelled and I really didn't like the way they worked and they left a white residue in my dishwasher and it was just not good. Um, I also for laundry finished LA's totally awesome oxygen orange base cleaner. I use this as an add in for my laundry. I didn't just use this for um, soap or anything for a cleaner. Um, for laundry, it says you're supposed to mix one scoop in each load. Um, for stain removal, you can mix one scoop with one gallon of water for fabrics, upholstery. Um, for carpet cleaning, you can do that for spot removal or for grout and tile cleaning. The list goes on and on and on what you can use this stuff for, but it does smell good and you do... It does come with a little scoopity scoop in here, and you actually get 32 ounces. This is 32 ounces, so for a dollar. I mean, how can you go wrong? And then the last item that I have here that is an empty, these are from the Dollar Tree. These are the Fabric Softener and Refresher Beads. If you guys have seen these in your grocery store, in Walmart, in any of your stores that you guys get the Refresher Beads, these are... Um, the same refresher beads that are out there from Downy. These actually are Downy beads. Downy produced a whole bunch of them and sold them for cheap to the Dollar Tree. It is a proven fact. So I don't know if the Dollar Tree is going to be getting any more of these. I'm hoping that they do. But this was 10 ounces and I loved it. This one was the yellow one. I've been looking for more, but I haven't been able to find any for a really long time. So let's come up a little close. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I have marks all over my face. I am sorry. But anyway, um, it has been a long day, so I hope you guys enjoyed my empties video. I plan on trying to do these once a month, but I think this one is a little late. It kind of lingered into the next month. Um, but yeah, if you guys have used any of these products, please leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.